Hey guys, I'm back again. Um, didn't expect to be uploading another video after my 22 jump straight review, but uh, yeah, I got this idea that I might just give my thoughts on the E3 press conferences since so many other people seem to be doing that. And um, yeah, I only got this idea halfway through Microsoft's uh, or Xbox E3 press conference, so I've missed out a couple of games from their conference. Please excuse me. It's just, I, yeah, I must. I, <laughs> I only started this halfway through, so I just missed a few of the games they um, actually revealed, and if I did, I apologise, but that's just how it goes. So anyway, anyways, first of all, they, there's going to be a general uh, consensus of what I feel about their reveal, and you're going to see that throughout. Anyways, first of all, they revealed, they showed some gameplay from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which looks fucking phenomenal, it looks amazing. Um, it doesn't look like a Call of Duty game, but it just... It just it looks amazing. It looks like one of the best Call of Duties we're going to be seeing in years, campaign-wise anyway. Uh, multiplayer is still left to be seen, but uh, yeah. So, I mean, my first thought when I saw this was, great, can't wait to pick this up on PS4, because the PS4 version is probably going to be superior. As Ghost was last year. Anyways, um, next we had Forza. Couldn't give two shits about it. Don't care about racing. If you're into racing, you might enjoy that. Next we had Assassin's Creed Unity, which is really weird to have that at a Microsoft conference since it's more or less the Sony, you know, based game. Um, a Sony, uh, a PlayStation focused uh, game and uh, the development platform for it is uh, PlayStation 4. So it's really weird that it's at a Microsoft conference, but yeah, it looks decent, can't we? I mean, I'm picking up on PS4, but yeah, it looks decent. It, it doesn't look amazing, but yeah, it, look, it looks like it could be better than these three, and I don't know, it might be on the same line as four. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. I've never gotten into any of the Dragon Age games, as I've heard they're like, you know, the Fallout games, the Elder Scrolls, game, Elder Scrolls games, they're like grinds, and I just don't have the time to play them. Uh, then you had a really fucking weird version of Dead Rising 3 announced, couldn't get two shits about that. Then you had Fable Legends, I didn't really know anyone cared about Fable anymore. I don't think the fans of Fable care about Fable anymore. But I know it looked okay actually, it looked like it could be pretty decent. Um, yeah, not much to say on that. Then we had Project Spark, uh, couldn't give two shits about that. Then we had a load of time spent on Halo, um, they showed it one, C one CGI trailer for Halo 5, which... I hate CGI trailers, so I'm not even going to talk about that. Then they revealed the Halo Master Chief Collection, which is just all the um, previous Halo games in one game, in on one disc with uh, B2 access for Halo 4's multiplayer. So uh, that could be pretty cool, but that's what that was. Then you had Wise of Tomb Raider, which is, could be great, it could be phenomenal, but again, it was a CGI trailer, so uh, I don't know. But I'll definitely be picking that, picking that up on uh, PS4. Then Witcher 3, exactly the same feelings towards that as I do Dragon Age in Inquisition. It um, looks like it's going to be a game that you just have to grind through and it takes like 500 hours to complete, so I don't have time to play anything like that. It looks really good though, the graphics look really good. Uh, we had Sunset Overdrive, which to me looks pretty shitty to be honest with you guys. It still feels kind of weird that uh, Insomniac jumped ship from Sony to Microsoft, but yeah. I don't know, the game just looks, looks like an awkward mix between... Um, Infamous Second Son and Dead Rising 3 and just it looks really weird to me and the humour looks really fucking forced the humour just it looks like they're trying to force that shit so badly and it's not working <laughs> as far as I can tell then we had The Division which I mean it looks like it has potential it looks like it could be generic it looks like it could be decent if I do pick it up I'll pick it up on PS4 the graphics, the graphics do look phenomenal, I must say, the graphics look phenomenal, but they might be pouring the watchdogs on us, because it's from Ubisoft, you know. It may look this good now, but then when the actual game comes out, it could look like shit. So, yeah, that could go either way too. Then we had Skillbound, we had a CGI trailer for that. Now this is being made by Platinum Games, so it does have potential, it looks like it could be pretty decent, but it's a CGI trailer, so I can't know. Uh, we also had Crackdown, uh, a new Crackdown game revealed, which will probably be, you know, some stupid fun. Uh, it probably won't be a great game, but it'd be stupid fun. And um, that was only a CGI trailer as well, so, you know. Then we had Evolve, which I just 
don't really give two shits about, to be honest with you guys. I've never played Death of Dead, I've never played Half-Life, I've never played any of the Valve stuff, so I haven't got, you know, the whole Valve, fan, Valve fanboy hysteria behind me, which is really hard to say. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not a Valve fanboy, so this doesn't affect me at all. And um, I've never played any Valve games, so I don't know if this is going to be any good or not. And um, that's generally it, guys. It was an okay conference. It could have been a lot better. The majority of the games that looked interesting were multiplats, which I'll probably pick up on PS4 anyways. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess Crackdown and um, Scalebound look like the best exclusive games that were revealed. And that's about it. I mean, Halo will probably be pretty decent, but... We already knew that was coming. So yeah guys, that was my quick, I guess, round up an opinion of Microsoft's and Xbox E3 conference. Uh, see you in the next video for this. I believe the next one's going to be, I think it's EA next, I don't know. It might be um, Ubisoft, which I'm really looking forward to. But yeah, it's either EA or Ubisoft, I don't know. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. It's Master 50 signing out.